Good morning everyone, this is Broomster and today I'm coming to you with a new guest video. Um, of course I'm starting with December 6th um, and as always please check out the actual genuinely approachable Sudoku YouTube channel and their webpage links to that below. Um, there was some negative feedback about my first video but I'm going to keep trying to do this anyway. Um, one of the things that was suggested is maybe I should talk about the stuff that is posted with the guest video. So this is a Dutch whisper puzzle called SLAP or slap by Philip Newman um, and here's the, the text that was provided with it. In some countries today is St. Ni Nicholas's Day, the feast day of St. Nicholas of Myra. This historical figure is the basis of the legendary Dutch figure um, Sinterklaas, Santa Claus in its, uh, is the anglicised name though the character, abs uh, the character absolutely real person bringing you gifts on Christmas has a more complicated history, look it up. St. Nicholas of Myra is the subject of a couple of other interesting legends aside from the whole gift giving thing from Wikipedia. An early list makes him an attendee of the First Council of Nicaea in 325, but he is never mentioned in any writings by people who were at the council. Late, unsubstantiated legend claims that he was temporarily defrocked and imprisoned during the council for slapping the heretic Arius. Another famous late legend tells how he resurrected three children who had been murdered and pickled in brine by a butcher planning to sell them as pork during a famine. Nom 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 nom. I like the idea that in a thousand years, some future gas solving community could have a legend of the time Bill flew to Texas and slapped me in the face with a fish, of course, for making me one too many whisper puzzles. Fish slapping dance time, everyone. Um, you can look that one up as well. Uh, bonus injury fact, the injury to my shoulder. Um, I'm sorry, you had an injury. I probably should be aware of that, Philip, but I wasn't. Um, which recently required surgery is known as a superior labrum anterior and posterior tear, SLAP tear. Today's gas is a Dutch whisper Sudoku. Then there's the rules and the times. So yes, this is um, SLAP by Philip Newman. Um, Dutch whisper rules is that uh, digits uh, in cells directly connected by an orange line must have a difference of at least four. So these will have a difference of at least four. These will have a difference of at least four. These will have a difference of at least four. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. So on a Dutch Whisper line, anything touching a five must be a one or a nine. They are the only digits that are four apart. So those are ones and nines, which is cool. Anything touching sixes must be one, two or nine. And I can't put a uh, a one or a nine there because it sees a one or a nine. That sees a one or a nine. So that's a two. Um, Anything touching a four, like this four, uh, hang on, how does that one, now sixes must touch twos, fours, I can't go down, I must go up, so it must be an eight, that must be an eight, it's the only thing that's far enough away, so now I'm getting triples, so what, hang on, what are these, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, seven, and eight, the seven and the eight can't go together, because I must keep alternating polarity unless I can swap with a five, between one, hang on, I must, I must keep alternating polarity unless I can swap with a five. Um, this eight, of course, makes this seven and this eight. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, hang on, I must keep the polarity unless I'm swapping. So this is nine, this is one. These are one, two, three, seven, and eight. The seven and the eight must be kept apart by the three. Um, the eight at the bottom makes that the seven and that the eight. Um, ba, 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 ba. this must be low because it can't be five so one two or three it can't be four because it'd be too close to seven can't be two it can't be one that's a three so these are one four and nine but this can't be low that's the nine so there's this is the one this is the four this is the nine these are one two three and four Five? No, not five. Two, three, and seven. The two and the three must be kept apart. So this is the three. This is the two. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. I must maintain a parity switch. So this is the one and the nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, six, and seven. There's no seven in those. So this is the seven. The ba, 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 ba. still not there. This has to be low. Um, so it's well, it's one. It's one or four. Uh, therefore, this must be high. Oh, it can't be five, so it must be high, and it's not six, seven, or eight, so it's nine, which allows that to be anything. But it does mean that this is one, this is four, this is three, this is low or five. So it's four or five, because um, one, two, and three are gone. Seven is in, oh, seven is right there. 
So these are four, five, six, and nine. That well, there's no four in those. There's no five in those. That's a six nine pair. Six nine comes out of there. I'm not seeing how to resolve that. This is high because it has to be far away from. So this is six. It can't be seven. Six eight or nine. Mm, uh, da, 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 away from eight so they've got to be one two three or four they're not one or three so this is a two four pair which means this is the five this is the four because they had to be four away and they couldn't be one or three uh the one here of course makes this nine this now has to be low and it's not one two or four so it's three what are these one two three four five six two seven and eight the seven and the eight must be kept apart so the two goes into there these are seven and eight and i'm not sure how to resolve that yet i have to put a one in one of those two that's not it i have to put a six somewhere one six these are one six seven eight well seven is in one of those two uh, this can't be five, so it's low, and it's not one or three, so it's two or four. Well, it's not four. This is two. So what is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Well, there's no five there. There's no four there. There's no four there. This is a four. This is five, six, eight. There's no five there. That's five. The six, eight looks down, making that nine, and that six. There's no six there. This is eight or nine. So that's nine, that's eight, I think. Let's hope. So one, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, one, three, and six. Well, there's no one or three there, that's a six. So this has to be the two. So that's the four. I can take the six out of those. Not sure how to resolve this one, three yet. I'm bad at this. This is one, six, eight. There's an eight there. There's an eight there. This is the eight in the row. This is the six. This is a one, six pair. So this is a seven or an eight. So that's the seven. That's the eight, which means that's the seven. Have I done all the lines now? Yes, I think I'm just down to Sudoku. One, two, three, four, and five go into those. The four makes that the five and that the four. Um, unless I've made a terrible mistake. These are one, two, and six. I think, so that's one, six, so that's two. What am I missing in here? One, five, and six, so there's no five there. That's the five. So this is a one, six pair. I'm stressing about this now. In this column, one, two, three, four, and six. So this is six, this is four. The six makes this the one, the six, the one, the six, the one makes this the three and the one. This is now an eight. This, uh, the one makes this the six and this the one. And to complete the puzzle, that's three. And that's the correct solution in five minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, I think that took me a lot longer than it probably should have. I am, I don't have the times to hand. Um, actually, I think I do. Uh, five minutes, 40. Oh, that is a two-party hat time. So pretty happy with that. So yay. Um, they could possibly include that in the solution pop-up messages, but eh. Anyway, that's really cool because then people wouldn't see it until they'd solved the puzzles, but they'd still get the times when they solved the puzzle. They would immediately know because they would get their time and what the, the, the hat times were. Anyway, that, that was cool. I enjoyed that one. But the fact that we just did a Dutch Whisper puzzle, for me, it was yesterday, um, kind of helped. Well, on to the next one. Okay, this is the next puzzle, Foggy XV Pairs by Clover. So this is a fog grid. The description that was posted to Discord, um, I assume by Clover, there's something I've been wondering about for a long time and I thought I'd put it to you now. What is the English language adjective that means related to Sudoku? I'm partial to Sudokula, although Sudokical, Sudoical um, is a strong contender. Today's Sudokian gas is Sudokiak Foggy XV Pairs Sudoku. This ga is gas's very first fog Sudoku. So listen up. The fog doesn't affect the solution at all. It's just meant to enhance the experience by letting certain parts of the grid surprise you once they are revealed. It will vanish as you solve the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, also some X's in red circles and V's in blue circles 
appear in the grid. Digits separated by an X sum to 10 and digits separated by a V sum to 5. Not all possible Xs or Vs are necessarily given. Um, there are some times, and if you don't do it, apparently the dinosaur you can earn is a fogged fut futive logonkosaurus. I'm not sure I will keep doing the dinosaur thing. So, um, looking at the puzzle, uh, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the blue these are blue circles. This can't be. This is a two three, um, but this can't be a two because this would have to be an eight. So this is a three with a seven and a two. Now this is a V, which must be a one four, and I can't use the one. So this is the four. This is the one. This is the nine. Now this can't be one four. So it's two three. Uh, two three if i type correctly i'll do better this can't be two three so it's one four so one and four so this is six this is now nine and this is one two three four five now two three goes with seven eight this so seven three two eight which means this is two uh this is one four but i'm not a hundred percent sure of the order yet now this is three seven this hang on this has to have a low digit on it so this is three seven so three and seven um this is six or nine but i'm not sure this has to have a low digit on it so this is four and six so this is nine one and four okay so that puts a five in the middle of the grid now this can't be one four so this is two three so we've got three and two and seven um, this is now one, four, and we know the order one, four. So this is a nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no five or eight there. So that's the six and I can take six. These are five and eight. Now this may be not sure one, do, 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 do. Okay. This is a triple one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. There's no five there. Okay, is it this? It can't be one nine, could be two eight, can't be three seven, can't be four six. So this is two eight. And the two there means this is the eight and this is the two. I'm starting to run out of clues. I am clueless. Okay, there must be a one down here, but I can't put it here without this being one nine. So that's the one. This is now needs a oh, hang on. This is three, seven or four, six. If it's three, seven, it's three, seven. If it's four, six, it's four, six. Oh, it can't be four, six because of that. So this is three and seven. This now can't be one, nine, four, six or three, seven. So it's two, eight. So we've got two and eight. This now can't be two, three. So it's one, four in some order. Um, four is now right here. Three is right here. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's no seven there. There's no five there. This is a six. This is a five, seven pair. So what's in this column? One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. So this is a five. This is a seven. This is an eight. This is a five. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. And this six means this is the nine. This is the six. The eight means this is the five and this is the eight. This row is just missing a two. These are three and six. And these are one, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. No, I'm still missing something. This column is missing a three. This column. One, two, three, four, five, and eight. I know the order of those. Five, eight, and five. Five. So these are two, six, and nine. Well, this is the two. And this is a six, nine pair. Okay, so I've run out of clues. One, two, three, and five go into those. One six and nine and four seven and eight there's no eight there what is it i've missed 
One, two, three, four, seven, and eight. There's no eight in there. So this is a four, seven pair, which means this is one, this is four, which means that's not four and that's not four. Seven, eight pair means that's not seven. Four, seven means that's not seven. So this is seven. Now there's a V here. So this is four and one, which means this is nine. That was a nice reveal. This is not one or nine. This is six, which takes six out of those. Six means this is three and this is six. This is five. There's a four, seven. So this is the eight, seven, and four. This is three. Uh, the 6 makes this 5, which means this is 9 and 5. The 7 means this is 8 and 7. The 1 looks up making this 9 and 1. These are 2 and 6, so I can resolve those. And the 6, of course, means this is the 9 and this is the 6. So that was 5 minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, I can try and go back and see how that compared to my time. So 5 minutes 36 would have given me two party hats. So that's not bad. So that is um, the um, Froggy XV pairs from December 7th, 2023. Um, I'm going to end the video now and then I will edit on to tomorrow's, which I can't do right now because it hasn't been released yet. Onwards. Good evening, this is Bremster, and the new gas puzzle just dropped from Bill Murphy. Um, this is the one from the 8th of December 2023, and there was a message that came with it. As I write this, I am filled with absolute terror. I don't know why Bill Murphy is terrified. Let's see if we find out. Fear is a fundamental human emotion that serves a crucial role in our survival, but it can also be a powerful force that affects our thoughts, behaviours, and overall well-being. Shakespeare captures this state of speechless terror in Macbeth after the murdered king's body is discovered. Oh, horror, 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 tongue nor heart cannot conceive, nor name thee, confusion now hath made his masterpiece." While I'm often brought comfort by that old adage from Doctor Who, fear makes companions of us all. It can still shake me to the very core. Um, the girlfriend is meeting my uh, the parents this weekend. It'll be fine, yeah. Uh, before I spend the next day and a half in the kitchen cleaning, you all should solve today's guess, a Renban Sudoku. So it'll be normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along a purple line must be contiguous, um, but maybe in any order. Um, and if you get a dinosaur, apparently it's a Yes Chef Chialingosaurus. So yay. Um, so um, when I've got, when I'm reading, I can't actually see the puzzle. I've got a different screen up. So this is the puzzle. So these purple lines are Renban lines. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. Um, digits must be contiguous. So these are two and three. Um, with the three on the line, I, ca um, I can't go down to a two because the two is given. So these are three, four, five, six. Um, now, so these... Uh, actually, I'm not sure. These nine must be with eight, seven. Now the eight can't go... Actually, that's a problem, isn't it? Isn't this a problem? Isn't this... How? Because there must... Oh, there must be a seven on the line with an eight. Actually, I may have made a mistake here. Because there must be a seven on the line with the eight. And this the seven has to be here because I can't put it in this box. So this is the eight and this is the seven. Now, I can't put a nine on the line. So this is seven, six, five... So it's five, six, seven, eight. Now, if there was, see, there could be a two on this line. Now, there couldn't be a one, but there could be a two. So this is either two, three, four, five, or three with four, five, six. So this could be four, five, six. So I actually had made a mistake there. Now, um, this is a one, two, three. This two Ooh, yeah, actually. So the two, if it's got a three, and this light two line must have a three on it because I can't, they can't all be under two. So, and I can't put the three in here. So this is the three, this is the two, this is the three. I can't put a one on this line. So it's two, three, four, five. Now five is here by Sudoku. And that's actually using an X-Wing, which is a bit weird. 
Now, seven is not in those. Seven is in one of those two. Actually, this is a six, seven. And these are one, two, three, four. These are eight and nine. And I know the, the order, nine and eight. This is the six. This is the seven. These are one and four. And I know the order, four and one. So these are two and three. So this is two. This is three. To connect the three and the five, this is the four. So this is not a four, this is a five or a six. Now there must be a four on this line. There's a four in one of those two. The three here makes this the two and this the three, which means there is no two on this line. This is four, five, six. There's no five there, there never was. But there has, oh, this is four, five, six. There must be a five on the line, which is in one of those two. Three is in one of those two. Now, I can't put one, or one is in one of those two, because I can't put one on the line with the five. I can't even put two on the line with the five. So two is in one of those two. This is a two, eight pair, because five, six, seven. So this is a two, eight pair. So this is four, five, six, isn't it? Four, five, six, and it can't be five. So this is four or six. These are one, four, six, and nine. Well, I can't put nine here. So this is a one, nine pair, and this is four, six. There you go. That probably helped, but I'm still doing this really slowly. Two is in one of those two. Hmm. So... These are from one, two, three, four, five. So these are one, two, four, five. There's no two there. It could be one, two. If this is a one, this would have to be a two. So that's not a one. Seven is in one of those two because seven by Sudoku is in here, but I can't repeat it on the line. These are from five, six, eight, and nine. There's no five on them. So this is six, eight, nine, and must contain an eight. No, I... This five, six pair means that these, what are they? One, two, seven, no, two, eight, and nine go in there. Well, there's no eight there. This is the eight. So this is a two, nine pair. So I know these are one six and seven. So there's no six there. Oh, this is five. This is six. This is five, four, and six, which means there's no six on this line. This is seven, eight, nine. There's no four there, but there doesn't have to be a four on this line if this is one, two. One, six, seven. This is one, two, three. That's a nine. These, I want to do, these are six and seven, and I know the order. Seven and six. Okay. Which means this is the seven. The nine makes this the eight and this the nine, which means this is the one and the nine. This six makes this the four and this the six, which makes this the five and this the four. Now, these are from 5, 6, 8, and 9 for the same reason. There's no 8, 9 there. So this can't be 9 because 6, six 7, 8. So that has to go up. There's no 6 there. So this is either 5, 6, or... If that's 5... No, this can't be a 5. Because if this is a 5, I'd need a 6 to get to the 7. So that's not 5. That's 6. And it's 5, 6. Yeah, so that's 6 there. This is a triple. What is it? One, two, three, four, two, four, and seven. Well, there's no seven in those, so that's a seven. The two and the four are not resolved that I can see, but these are one, three, and five. There's no three in those. Ah, oh, there we go. This is a one, five pair. My pencil marks are not doing me great, are they? This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a one, four, five. That's the one. That's the five. That's the one. That's the four. That's the five. That's the two. 
these, I want you to, these are eight and nine, and I know the order. Eight and nine, five, six, seven, eight, that's correct. Uh, oh, the five makes that the eight, and all the Ren bands are done. So I'm now down to Sudoku. One, two, three, one and four, which are resolved by the four already in column four. There's no one there. Uh, the six made, oh, there is a six and the seven there. This was always a one, and that was always a six, and that was always a seven. The invisible givens at the bottom did that. These are three, five, and nine. There's no three there. There's no five there or there. That's a five. The three, nine, I'm not sure. Uh, these, one, two, four, nine. Well, there's no nine there. There's no four there. So that is four, two, four, which makes this eight and two. These are eight and nine, and I'll use the eight to make that the nine, and that the eight, which makes that the three, and that the nine, which makes that the two, and that the nine, which means that's the two. The one has to go here. The three has to go here. That makes that the six, and that is the correct solution in eight minutes and eight seconds, um, and that would get not get me two party hats. It would get me one, but that is my blind solve. Um, definitely struggled a little on the Ren bands, which is a bit weird because I'm actually, I'm normally pretty good at Ren band puzzles, but um, obviously I, I am sick. Um, that's not an excuse. It's a, it's just a situation that I'm going through at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Thank you, Bill Murphy, for the puzzle. Thank you for the gas team. I keep saying, please check out their site. Um, and I'm in the middle of a video. So rather than sign on and sign off, on to the next puzzle. Okay, and now we're looking at the puzzle for the 9th of December 2023, which is Quadrants by Philip Newman. Um, Philip doesn't have much to say today. He says he's posting from his phone that he, how exciting. He's visiting a friend for some birthday board games. Comment with your favourite board game. Well, I'll just do it here. Um, my favourite board game is Cosmic Encounter, and I've been playing it since 1978. Before the pandemic hit, board gaming was my favourite, my main hobby, and I used to travel all over Australia and to a degree the world in order to do it. I went to Essen um, in Germany to attend the Essen Spiel um, and I used to board game with different groups like three or four times a week. Um, now when my father passed away I lost my last board gaming group so I haven't done any board gaming in a very long time apart from when I go to PAX or BorderCon. Um, so it's a bit unfortunate that I've kind of lost that hobby. I have a very large collection of board games and really no one much to play them with anymore which is a bit unfortunate. Um, today's guess is a German Whispers quadruple Sudoku. Um, so uh, moving to the puzzle. Um, so normal Sudoku rules, um, German Whispers, digits in cells directly connected by a green line must differ by at least five. Sorry about this, but I have COVID, so I have runny noses and all sorts of stuff. And quadruples, digits in corner circles um, must appear in the surrounding four cells in some order. So there must be a five in here. There must be three, four, five, nine in here. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I'm not going to go over the detailed logic. This is a guess puzzle. We'll just try and speed through it as quickly as I can, which may not be very quick. So um, what do we have? So I have to put a five in here. You cannot put a five on a German whisper. Uh, three, four, and nine go in here, but these must be the same polarity. So these are the three, four, and this is the nine. These are now low. So these are one, two, three, four. This is a five. Five. The three four here means this is not three four. Um, okay, can I do anything similar over here? No, but I can put a five there. I can put a five there. I can put a five there. Now down here, I think I can do the same. Yes, these must be the same polarity. So these are the eight nine. This is the two. These are now six seven eight nine. They can't be six because of um, six is too close to two. This is a seven. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. What about over here? So three of these digits are low. So the lo um, these couldn't both be high. So the eight goes here. Now I can't put four. So these are the two, three. This is the four. The four looks back making that the three and that the four. The three looks back making that the two and that the three. So there's my two, three, four, eight. I can't put six next to eight. So this is a six. Now two, three, and four. This is a one because two, three, and four were already in the row. 
Now, I've already got my six in here, but these are low. One, two, three, four. There's no three, two. This is a one. Um, this, however, just can't be a two. That means on this quadruple, one is down here. Um, now, ooh, actually, I'll do this. I have seen something here, but I'm going to do this first. If one is here, then this is two. If one is here... So I've either got one, two here, or these are six, nine, and that... No, actually, no. If this is one, this is two, and this is nine. So this is either one, two, with nine. But if this is one, these have to be the high digits, and that'd have to be the two. So this is the one, this is the two, this is the nine, this is the six. Um, these are low digits now, so one, two, three, four. There's no one or two there. There's no one there. Okay. Now in here, I have noticed this has to be one or nine because it sees the other four digits of alternating polarity. Um, now, has that done anything? There's no one here anymore. Oh, this isn't a four. That's a three because four is too close to eight. The one, of course, makes that two. Five is over here. Well, that's not great. Can I do more with fives? Yes, that's a five. Um, five is in one of those two. Oh, that's not a five. Five is in one of those three. Okay, that's not great either. Seven is in one of those two. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no seven there. There's no nine there. Yeah. One is in one of those two. This is a one-eight pair by Sudoku. So that's nine and that's eight. There's no eight there. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I know what these two are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, and nine. Oh, this one makes this the eight and this the one. So now I know what these two are. One, two, three, four, five, no, six and seven. Which puts seven in one of those two because seven is here and around this quadruple. So seven is not in those. There's probably more I can do in the middle, but it's seeming a little bit tricky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, and eight. There's got to be... So if this is one, these are six, seven, eight, nine. The seven would be in one of those two. The eight would be in one of those two. The nine would be in one of those two. If it's nine, then these are one, two, three, four. The one would be in one of those two three, four. No, I don't know. One is in one of those two. So what are these? One, three, four. Well, four is in one of those two. And six, which is right there. So these are one, three, four without one being there and without four being there. Okay, this is slowing me down. One is in one of those two. Three, four, five, no, hang on. Oh uh, yeah, three, four, five, seven, eight. Ugh. Okay, what have I lost? I've No, okay, this six looks like making that the seven. There's no seven in either of those. This six looks like making that the nine and that the six. So now nine is in one of those. That's, this isn't it. It's got to do with this middle. I'd like to blame the COVID brain, but I don't think I can. Eight is in one of those two, which means eight is in one of those two. I think I'm just being dumb. There's no three here. So three is in one of those. That's not it. So is it this? If if this is nine, 
One is in one of those, two is in one of those, three is in one of those, and four is in one of those. If this is one, then six is in one of those, seven is in one of those, eight is in one of those, and nine is in one of those. This is not helping me at all. That's not helped me at all. These are three, four, and eight. And there's no eight there. So that's, why have I got no eight there? Ah, oh, because the eights line up. This is an eight. This is not an eight. This is a three or a four. But doesn't that mean if this was high, Three would be in here, four would be... No, that doesn't mean that at all. Because I could go three, four, four, and then I could put four up there. No, that's not it at all. Oh, wait a minute. This is four. So this is not four. So this would be four if this is nine. This is three. I've lost it. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, seven. There's no four in those. That's a four. There's no five there. That's seven. That's five. These are one, two, and nine. These, five, seven, and eight. There's no seven there. There's no five there. There's no eight there. That's a seven. Oh, sorry, everyone. I shouldn't be recording, but I'm trying to record on the day. What is it? Four is in one of those two. So that's a nine, that's a four, which means that's not a four. And now around this quadruple, that's the four, which means these are the high digits. So that's the one. So there's no low digits on this. This is not a this is not a one or a three. This is not a one or a three. This is not a one or a two. So that's the eight. There's no eight there. This is not an eight. This is the eight. These are six, seven, nine. So these are two and three. And I know the order. Three and two, which takes two out of there. This is not a three. This is not a one. This is not a two. The seven takes seven out of both of those. So this is nine, six, nine, seven, two, not two. This is one and nine. It's happening again. Took me way too long to see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two. No, there's, that's a two. Oh, this three. No, no, that wasn't the case. I thought the three was looking down. I'm losing my column scanning. One, two, three, four, five, six, three and six. So this is six and three. The six makes that seven and six. These are one, four and seven. There's no four there, no seven there, no one there. But the three looks down making this four, one, three, which means this is seven, one, four. Okay, this three means this is not three, this is not eight. The seven means this is six and this is seven. So one is not there. This is the one, which means this is the, wait, this is the one. So this is the four. In this column now, it is just two eight I'm missing. So eight, two, three, eight. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine. Well, there's no five or nine, so that's the two. Two comes out of those. This is five, nine, which means this is eight, five. One, two, I need to put in a three, which goes there. So this is the seven, and this is a six. And that is the correct solution, 11 minutes. Not a great time. Um, yeah, I did get one party hat. It was 
yeah, I did get one party hat according to the timer. So apparently I'm not too bad. Um, I was closer to the two party hat time than I was to losing the one party hat time. So apparently not too bad. 11 minutes exactly. That was a tricky one. Thank you, Philip, for the puzzle. And I will, tomorrow will, well, the next, tomorrow's puzzle will be the last one in this video. So we will cut to that when I record it tomorrow. Okay, this is the last puzzle in this particular run of gas puzzles that I'll be recording for December the 10th, 2023, and it's a frameless Sudoku by Clover. In the post, she said, Too many inmates languishing in Sudoku prison are only there because they were framed for Sudoku crimes, like bifurcation, using uniqueness, or purchasing computer-generated puzzle books at the grocery store. I have opinions on that one. Well, the guilty um, must be punished. It is not far more. Uh, is it not far more unjust to per uh, persecute the innocent than it is to just let puzzle criminals go free? Let this frameless gas stand as a protest. Um, if you finish this with the, not in the time, you'll get an innocent invis invis. I can't even do this. In Nope. I'm going to. I think I'm going to stop doing the reading of these and just focus on the puzzles. Um, leave your opinion below. I can't even say what this in. Incisivosaurus, Incisivosaurus, innocent Incisivosaurus. Please let me know in the comments below whether you want me to actually read out the comments and the dinosaur type, um, or just focus on the puzzles and the rules. Anyway, so the rules on this one, frameless Sudoku. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues give the sum of some unknown number of adjacent digits in that row or column starting immediately adjacent to the clue. For instance, a seven clue, like the one we've got here, um, to the right of row nine, that's what it says, um, tells you that either the rightmost digit in that row is a seven, the rightmost two digits sum to seven, or the rightmost three digits sum to seven. So these are basically like X sum clue. Well, basically it's telling you that there'll be a run of digits somewhere uh, at the top that sum to four, a run of digits at the top that sum to four, run a digit at the top that sum to 16, run of digits here that sum to six. I think that's how it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle and let's see how I go. Let's give this a shot, basically. So, there must be a run of digits here that sums to two, so this must be a two because otherwise I blow the total. Same here, this is a four, this is a six. This has to be an eight because otherwise I blow the total. This has to be a seven, a five, and a three um, because otherwise the total just gets blown. This is a one. Now, I need two digits here that sum to, oh no, it could be three digits that sum to eight. So let's look elsewhere first. I have to have, there's only two ways of making four. <clears throat> one, three, and a four on its own. And I've got to use both of them up here. I can't use one, three here. So this is the four because of the one, three. I can't use the four here. So this is the one, three. And the three here tells me this is the one and this is the three. I need to make five and I can't use a five on its own. I can't use one, four because the four is gone. So this is two, three. And the three would have forced that anyway. Um, I'm going to now, well, this three can't be one, two. So it's a three on its own. This eight can't be an eight on its own. And I... As I said, I could use three digits. It could be one, two, five. Uh, so there's either a one down there. So let's actually do some Sudoku. So these are one, two, and nine. Um, what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Oh, so this is a six by Sudoku, and I can take six out of those. So I've still got a very bad case of COVID, and I'm very I'm trying to record while I'm in a okay period. This is five, seven, and nine. There's no seven there. There's no nine there. Oh, there's no five in either of those. So this is the five, the seven, and the nine. My hands aren't operating. Eight and nine. These are three and four, so I know the order of those, three and four. One, two, three, four, five, these are six, seven, and eight. The six and the seven makes that the eight, and I can take eight out of those. I'm having to look at what I'm doing. This is how much my hands aren't working. Um, so these are one, two, three, and four, and I can only put the four there. So these are one, two, and three. Uh, the one comes out of here. Um, this is one, eight and nine. So this is the one and the one comes out of those. Why am I so struggling so much? Uh, this makes this the eight and this the nine. These are one, six and seven. There's no one there. So this is the one. 
which means one comes out of those. This is the one. Now I need to put six up here. This is either six or five, one. So this is five or six. Now what are these? These are two, three, and four. So there's no four there. This is a two, three pair. So this six clue. Well, the six clue could only be one, five, or two, four. So this is now, or a six on its own. So that is now a six. Now the five down here, this was an important one. It's the same as the four up here. Um, oh no, I've got one four available. But this can't be two, three, and it can't be one, four. So this is a five. This now can't be two, three, or five. This is one, four, and the one makes that the four and that the one. These are now triples. This is one, seven, and nine. There's a nine there. There's a one there. Oh, there's no nine in that box. Whoops, don't put an eight in. So this is the nine. This is the seven. This is the one. These are two, five, and six. There's no five in those this is the five. The two makes this the six and this the two. This row it, column is missing the eight. It's a column. Two, six, and seven. Um, there's no six or seven there. That's the two. There's no six there. So seven and six. Uh, the one and the two means this is the nine. This is the two. This is the one. These are one, two, three, and four. So this is a two, three, four triple, but okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine, and I know the order, eight and nine. These are two, five, and seven. Now I can't put a two there because this is a two, three, four triple. So this is a five or a seven. The two, three looks down, taking two out of there. This becomes a two, taking two out of there, giving me a three, four pair. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's no five there. There's no six or seven there. That's the five. This is a six, seven pair. So this is the five I had. No, I didn't have that before, but I now know what these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. So these have to sum to eight and I can't do seven, one. So there's six, two, three, four, seven, six, three, and four. The five looks down, making this seven and five. This three makes this two and three. I need to put in a six, which goes there. No, I've made a mistake. I have made a terrible mistake. No, that was just a typo. That was supposed to be a three. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. I can't put seven in any of those. That's the seven. I'll use that eight to make that a nine and that an eight. And I'll use that to make seven and six. And even with COVID brain, I did that in, pardon me, five minutes and 18 seconds. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, five minutes, 18 seconds. If I look at the times, that would have got me two party hats. So yeah, I think I might be on the mend. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, thank you, Clover. And the other puzzles were from um, Philip Newman, Clover, and Bill Murphy. Of course, they're always from Philip Newman, but why am I even thinking? COVID brain. Um, so thank you for the puzzles. I hope you enjoy this set of five. Um, I'm sorry that I got sick in the middle of them, but I am trying to record them um, they released overnight for me. I'm hoping to record them if I'm not up late and I'm not at the moment. I just spent 20 hours in bed. Um, so I got up and I recorded this first thing. Um, so I'm hoping to record and release as soon as I can. One important thing, of course, is the details below. Go check out the um, Gas YouTube channel where they're releasing their own um, solution videos for all of these. And go check out the Gas homepage where there's details of other solvers who are also solving the Gas videos. You may appreciate one of them better. Um, and uh, they're also releasing, um, they've got all sorts of other tools and stuff related to the, the gas series. So uh, you might find useful information there. Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.